Hello. Our contribution to the Touche 2020 shared task on conversational argument retrieval is titled Argument Retrieval Using Deep Neural Ranking Models. We apply eight different neural ranking architectures to the conversational argument retrieval task and compare their effectiveness. In order to train these networks on the args.me data, we pursue a distance supervision approach based on the related problem of retrieving relevant premises given a claim. In an attempt to combine the insights from various neural rankers, we attempt a simple linear aggregation scheme. Our results show a rather poor overall performance of general purpose neural rankers. However, an interaction focused ranking strategy, as well as incorporating contextual embeddings, both tend to improve argument ranking quality. Neural ranking models are commonly trained with a pairwise loss function such that, given a query, a relevant document, and a non relevant document, the relevant document is ranked higher. Since relevance judged training data for argument ranking are hard to come by, we employ a distance supervision approach using the arguments in the ArcSubMe dataset to derive surrogate binary relevance data. We use the claims in place of queries and the premises as documents to be ranked. Premises that either support or attack the given claim are considered relevant, whereas premises that support or attack dissimilar claims are considered non-relevant. Based on this training procedure, we compare eight different ranking architectures, focusing on three key characteristics interaction-focused versus representation-focused networks, static versus contextual embeddings, and re-ranking an initial BM25 result set versus an end-to-end -end approach. During the validation runs on our dataset, we find that interaction-focused networks tend to outperform representation-focused ones, and that contextual embeddings help improve re-ranking performance. The end-to-end -end ranker outperforms a simple representation-focused re-ranker but not most of the interaction-focused networks. By contrast, the human annotated results indicate that while our models succeed at retrieving relevant arguments, those are not necessarily arguments that are useful in conversation. Our linear aggregation model, which was trained on the validation set and hence doesn't have a validation score here, did not outperform most of the individual rankers that were evaluated. As such, future work should explicitly model argument quality dimensions beyond mere relevance. Thank you for watching. Check out our paper for more details.